There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this, some of you will already know, is Tyrion 2000. The best game in its genre, one of the best DOS games ever, one of the best games ever. I am entirely biased about Tyrion 2000. So I'm going to start my timer and uh, we're going to get going. Let's just stick that on. 20 minutes like we're going to need it. I think we will. <laughs> start new game. So already you're given the options here. You've got the full game. You've got an arcade mode which is different. And you've got two player option for that arcade mode. There's also a timed battle. We're going to go with a full game. We may look at the arcade later. And those of you who have played Tyrion already will notice that the music is different. They'll be like, what? what's going on here? I am using the uh, sound canvas version, which uh, is playing Maxi Mabby's Arachnosoft sound font, which I will always, always go to bat for because it's lovely. And since I'll be chatting over the top of this, we'll go easy. And lo and behold, we have another game menu. So you've got data cubes here. And yes, there is mouse support, but we'll not be using it. So, these have communications. After gathering all the available, available data, I think I've found the safest course into Tyrian orbit from my landing platform. After heading due west out of the Fauci mines, you should come into contact with the floating battle platforms. Watch for the auto-targeting plasma turrets, and especially the construction claws. Whoever designed these platforms sure counted on spies and infiltrators, as they're loaded with small squadrons of surface attack drones as well. I think these platforms are filled with gravi gravitic ore, which would explain why they're floating. No wonder Microsoft wants to mine them so badly. I just hope they don't get ex intercepted before I reach orbit. Okay, that was very, very badly read. But the point I'm trying to make here is this is a top-down shooter with a story. Not just a you must save the world, but it also gives you, if you see in the bottom left-hand corner, information about what kind of message and who's sending it. So you've got data, historical, guidebook, an incoming message from your mum. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So you can read through these if you want. But we'll go to our ship specs. So we've got a USP Talon. And I'll tell you all about that. Which is neat. And uh, this is the fun bit. Upgrade ship. So we can change ship type. But as you can see, there's none available. We can change the front gun. We uh, use the arrow keys here, so we navigate up and down to change the type of weapon. So you got Protrons, Vulcan Cannon, Multi Cannon, Pulse Cannon. But you can also upgrade the par with the left and right keys. But it'll cost you. Also, there's this delightful sound. <laughs> ah, I love doing that. But James, why are you annoying people? That's why I do best. And you also have a rear gun. And it will show you, like, hey, this could be useful. Uh, let's pick up a sonic wave, just to get the things on the side. And you can also upgrade your shield here, but, you know, we've already got a high quality shield. We don't need to worry about that. Generator is about how much power you can generate. So I think we'll upgrade that. Oh, just set it to standard. We don't want to do that. Sidekicks are useful. But as you can see, we can only afford the one. So, a satellite Marlow it is. And we're done. So that's the ship upgrade system. And after each mission, you'll have money, and you'll upgrade your ship and so on even more. Uh, let's just have a look at the options. Nice sound, keyboard, rebinds, and so on. It's all good. So let's go to Tyrion and uh, see how I fare. Now the best thing to do in this sort of situation, provided your energy can uh, allow for it, is to just hold down space. That's the sort of thing you do with these top-down scrolling shooters. You hold down space, you wreck stuff, 
and uh, everyone has a good time, you know? Data acquired. Now, if it says data acquired, that means you've got a message that you've plucked out of the actual level itself, which is cool. You can get additional secret levels and messages and all kinds of things, depending on how you fly. And you'll note I'm just being a little bit quiet because it's been a while since I played Tyrion. I had Karina play it uh, not that long ago. Well, feels like a lifetime ago, what with 2020 and everything. Uh, but I haven't played it in a good while. And you can see the glowing sort of uh, thing there showing the data. You'll also note I don't kill everything. My ship at the minute is not in a condition where I can just kill everything. So we're approaching one of the floating platforms. Let's just take out some of them. And we picked up a secret level. So you see that glowing thing there? Now, we're probably going to die in the secret level. Uh, it's probably uh, too much for us at the minute. But as your ship upgrades and improves, you will become better at dealing with that sort of thing. So I'll just kill some platforms here. Come back here. And the controls, pretty simple stuff. It's the arrow keys in space. That's all you need. It's got that arcadey goodness, but it's not an arcade game. It's for the PC. And as you can hear with the beautiful, beautiful Maxie and Abby's Arachnosoft playing it, it's got a fantastic, fantastic sound. You see those guys only shoot forward. Now, you'll notice I did something wrong there. That guy dropped some data. But because I had gone up like this to the side, I missed out on whatever it was he dropped. So it'll become a memorization thing. You'll know when certain people drop certain things and you'll prepare for it. On the bottom right hand corner you've got your shield and your armor. The shield actually regenerates, which is cool. But if your shield goes down and your armor goes down, then you're in trouble. Also the game speeds up and slows down. We want to avoid these spikes. Uh, let's see, is there any more? There should be one coming up. Yep, there it is. And we'll avoid that. And it, the game does something sneaky with you here as well. Last spike. That often gets people. So, we've cleared the platforms. We're moving along nicely. And we'll just pick that up. Yep, extra money for us. It's beautiful. But now, the music changes. So, we're going to focus on the right-hand side. And then we'll take the left-hand side slowly but steadily here. Oh, we just have to watch his advances. Right, now he is going to get annoyed at us. Because we've broken through his defences. And there is the thing we want to avoid, his special move. Just massive Vulcan cannon style things coming out. Oh! But once you memorise the pattern, it's not so bad. And we got him! So, we're warping to a secret level. That could be bad for us. So let's read our data. Local Emporium Data Flux. Come on down and pick up a USP shuttle at Hank's used shuttle and hollow tractor Emporium. Eh, I dunno. There's options. Scenic Guide to the Universe. Sector 1. Huh. And you can just sit and read these. I'll not read them all out, because that would be very boring, you know, for everyone to uh, be put through. But yeah, some interesting data. And we've got some money there, bottom left hand corner, 7,774. So uh, let's go to the upgrades and see what we can do. I think a right sidekick would be useful. So we've got a dual shot option for 6,000. Oof. I don't know. That's that's a lot of money. Let's uh, let's go done and see what we can do here. We've got satellite Marlow there. We could upgrade to the dual shot option, but now I think we'll leave that as it is. And then let's have a look at our shields. Uh, we could upgrade our shields. That might be useful. I'll take that upgrade. Generator is fine. We've got the 6,000. I say we'll go for the dual shot. And that leaves us with very little money. But uh, this next level is 
unknown. It's probably going to kill us because we are too early into this level, I think. Oh, we picked up some data. That's nice. Let's kill some enemies. Now, I cannot recall playing this level, so this could end badly for me. Oh, boy. Now, I have played it in the past, but it's been that long that I don't remember it. And part of the vertical shooters is to uh, memorize, you know? A lot of these, a lot of these missions, you'll not, uh, you'll not do first time around, you know? Some of them you will. The first level is an obvious one that you should be able to, you know, manage unless you're new to the genre. But we will be able to watch me, like, die and do badly here. You can see the pace has already picked up. I'm already having to concentrate and really sort of move with my keys and try and avoid, like, look at these missiles, like, giant. Oh, now that is the sign of our shields taking a hit. And unfortunately, there was a craft that uh, I really needed to, uh, to deal with there. And you'll see there's one of the bad guys from the previous ones. Now, that craft there, that brown craft that I missed yet again, that would prevent the warning from coming up. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick it up. So we're going to have to... There... Ah! Oh, see the power up that it just lifted? Uh, drop driver. That was one that we needed. Now I'm just going to avoid them. Because I can't take these hits. There it is. Now, unfortunately, our armor is so low that picking that up didn't fix the problem. <laughs> it's going to be hit and miss, this. It's not looking good. Oh, we're going even faster. Right, I was able to pick one up so that the alarm stopped. But I'm going to I'm gonna stop shooting and let my shield regenerate a bit. I managed it. Oh, only just, though. 64%. And I picked up some data cubes. Let's have a read of them, shall we? Transmission source. Well, well, Trent, it seems you've made yourself quite popular. It's understandable, really, isn't it? So, computer translation of feline language. It is necessary that you feed me. I've been stuck here in this house so long that I decided to meow into this idiotic computer in the hope that you get the idea. There are not enough chewy treats being placed into my bowl, and the gravy is too thin. Meow. Pib. So, obviously, there's no picture of a cat, unfortunately. But, yeah, you get all kinds of crazy, like, data stuff. Let's see if we can afford to upgrade our front gun a bit. Let's see. We've got the pulse cannon. I like the pulse cannon. Let's, uh, let's upgrade that a little bit more. Uh, sonic wave. I guess we can stick with that, can't we? Uh, you do have the option to just go none and take away and get money back. But I think the Sonic Wave is useful. We can't really upgrade our shields. Can't upgrade our generator. Y you get the idea. And uh, mini missiles are useful, but they're limited. You can see that there, ammo 100. Once it's done, it's done, you know. So we'll, we'll leave that as is. And uh, I guess we'll go to the next level. But here, we have an option. We can go to Asteroid 1 or Asteroid 2. 1 or 2. Let's go with 1 and see what happens. Okay, we've got some Asteroids here. We'll be wanting to avoid them. Or do what all the good vertical shooters do and shoot them out of the sky. Goodbye, Asteroids. So this is more about evasion and being careful. The bigger ones take a lot of pounding before, you know, they get out of your way. So it's about judging the speed and seeing, hmm, can I take this out? Or is it going to collide with me and cause problems? Like that one there, for example, moving far too quickly for me to deal with. I'm really, really happy that I got that front gun upgrade. Get some data, take out a few of these. And uh, we're looking good at the minute. But as you can see, it's early days. And we'll want to avoid some of this. Uh, it's eating away at my shields a bit there. 
That is not what we wanted. Uh, there's some sort of mining operation, and you can see there, there was a craft that looked like it was inside an asteroid. Tyrion is full of these bizarre and crazy designs. My shields are in trouble here. Oh, that was not good. My armor's low. So I pick up that, and this will kill me. So, that is the Asteroid 1. And you'll see, that hasn't helped us. So let's go and take a look at Asteroid 2. Let's see what's behind Asteroid 2. And the answer is... It seems to be a little slower. Maybe we picked the wrong asteroid. You know? We were doing okay up until, you know, the, uh, the end boss bit. We just had to, you know, keep more shields and more armor up to that point. But this, this is the correct choice by the looks of things. It seems to be a lot easier. And we just have to be careful and avoid these boys because they can't shoot backwards. That means that we can, you know, focus our fire on the things that can. It's just a matter of staying out of their way and picking your shots when you can. And this is all much easier. Don't have much more to say. I mean, listen to that beautiful, beautiful soundtrack. I mean, that's to die for. And the sound effects are perfect. The graphics are brilliant. You know, the level design is superb and forgiving depending on the circumstances you know it's still it's still tough though you know don't get me wrong i am concentrating you know in order to get through this on easy and while some of that can be attributed to rust it's not all rust i'm gonna just hold back a bit with the shots here just let my shields regenerate they regenerate faster just uh, take out these. There we go. Now, we've got to time this correctly. But because we have the sidearm, we can just do that. See how that benefited us there? We'll take out some of these soldiers while we can, before they can shoot us. Seems a bit unfair, but we have to take every advantage we can get. And because our cannons are upgraded and we're a very frontal sort of fighter, we can benefit from that. Also use the side here. Take these boys out. It's a bit cheesy, but it'll work, you know. Not exactly the most, you know, entertaining of gameplay elements there, where you focus all your forward fire off the map so that anything that comes on will get obliterated by it. But it does the job. So let's take these out, and once that's done it will automatically move us forward. More soldiers. You will die. Can you tell I'm enjoying myself here? Secret level picked up. Uh-oh. <laughs> In these early phases, when you pick up a secret... Oh, there's a tank. Oh. We have to quickly take it out here before it uh, does that. Come on. Bit of agility here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Whew. Except, that doesn't appear to be the end. Level there we go. <laughs> he says, as it ends. <laughs> Let's have a look at our data. Yeah. Price on your head, blah, blah, blah. Thermal blast news. Let's upgrade our ship. You can see, we can upgrade to the Fang here. Which will give us more armor. You see the difference there in the bottom left hand corner? Yeah, more armor is a good thing. We need that. Uh, we have the option for a mega cannon. But I am just going to upgrade the pulse cannon again. Because I am a man with very little imagination. Uh, we could have the Vulcan cannon outside there. But I think we'll upgrade our sonic wave a little bit. And uh, we're probably going to die horribly to the next mission. So let's go and uh, start the level. Unknown. That's always a good sign. 
Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, it's the mine level. I remember this one. So, it's a good thing that we upgraded our cannon. So that means we can clear away. And, uh, hopefully, deal with these. Oh, just about. But you do reach a point where you can come across certain levels, and it's just too much for you. I don't know why I tried to pick that up, for instance. That, that was a bad idea. But in this case, we've upgraded enough so we can deal with the mines, we can deal with these things just about, without any issues. And that's largely because it's uneasy. If it was on... If it, if it, yeah. If it was on a harder level, we'd be in trouble. Getting tongue-tied there. It's the heat. It's like, uh, hot for this country. Which, for most countries, is probably cold. You'll see, if you focus on the little gate thing, it actually uh, improves matters when it comes to destroying them. So there is, there is a bit of sort of strategy. Ooh, strawberries. I'll take those. So if we focus on that bit, that'll d destroy the gate. And uh, some grapes. I'll take that as well. I think there was some sort of upgrade there on that. Oh. More grapes. So far, so good. It's not been too bad. But uh, because I'm not taking out those, they're uh, deleting my shield a little bit. Okay. We'll, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Savara. I'll die in Savara, and then that'll be it. Uh. So, this is not space. We're back on a planetary surface. We'll pick up some data. We'll take out more craft. And we'll just have a great time. This feels a lot more like your standard sort of top-down shooter. A sort of Earth-like environment. I always thought those little things looked like the farms from Warcraft 1. Maybe that's just me, though. Some of the 90s pixel art design was just wonderful. Now, some big craft that we might want to avoid a little bit here. Yeah, we took one out, but we missed the uh, bonus money. That would have been useful. Oh, well. Come on down. No, I don't think I have enough to take him out at the minute. But I say at the minute, you can actually go back and play these levels with upgraded weapons and stuff. It is a thing. Data acquired. Now, this ship could cause problems because it can fire in multiple directions. So our solution, fly around it. Just not worry about that at the minute. If I had more upgraded weaponry, I could take it out. And again, this guy is, is firing straight, so we can avoid him. It's about picking and choosing your enemies. These boys, I can take. If it looks like a fighter plane, I could probably take it out. Not if it does that, though. Their movement patterns... Oh! That guy in particular, he has this huge sort of load, look at that, huge sort of upgraded Vulcan cannon. So I'll just give myself some space here and fly past him. You can shoot those out of the sky, I've just remembered. Now, we'll see if we can take this guy out. The Vulcan cannon, the pulse cannon even, is helping matters. Alright, we just have to time this right. He's down to red. Here he goes. Easy peasy. Savara completed. And that is Tyrion 2000. It's the best top-down shooter of all time. It's one of the best games of all time. I recommend everybody play it. A huge hearty thumbs up from the Get Off My Lawn channel, and me in particular, for this game. It's wonderful, it's brilliant, just about everything has been done perfectly, and it stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the all-time greats. And as per usual, it has been another pleasure playing it, even if I did it on easy. And if you like me talking about other 
you know, DOS games. I do it a lot. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. If you like what you see there, you can subscribe. Until next time, I'm going to star another level. <laughs>